An original Sabrina Carpenter stands true story, unable to protect her. Have you recently checked in with your friends who are die-hard Sabrina Carpenter fans? They are in immediate need of you. We've reached one of the lowest points in pop music history in 2024 when the public finally found my 411 inches blonde beauty and took her away from us cool, forward-thinking gals with taste in music. We have devoted the previous 10 years of our lives to the career of the former Disney star, only to now endure TikTok videos uploaded by bitches who are seeing Sab for the first time through Espresso. It's devastating, to be honest. I would thoroughly investigate every single one of the 20 billion of you that are going to slither into that dreadful Ticketmaster line if I could. To begin with, I would need to see an authentic rendition of the lyrics to Can't Blame a Girl for Trying, a thorough history of Spotify or Apple Music going back to 2014, and a solid justification for the early years of 2021 the Sabrina is a homewrecker era. Oh, you find it appealing that I work late since I'm a singer? When I said, you like New York City in the daytime, I like New York City at night, or sue me for looking too pretty tonight, where were you? Whether to set trends or not to set trends that, my friends, is the query. And I fear that none of you can claim the former three if you're riding the brand new Sabrina or Chapel, waves. I'm going to scream, and not in a cutesy Addison Ray remix of Von Dutch, if someone asks me if I like Sabrina even if they just started listening to her three seconds ago. Let me take you on a tour of my extensive past with Sabrina Carpenter the woman, the myth, and the legend.